Hello and welcome and I want to talk about top 10 reasons why you're probably not getting the Etsy sales that you actually want. In case you're new here, my name is Soi Kisimov and I would like to teach other people how to make money online and as well, uh, this is the Geek Tech Show where I teach other people all kinds of cool things. So if you did enjoy this show, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel and see what else it got to offer for you. So the top 10 reasons why you're not getting the Etsy sales that you want. I'm going to go into every single one of those reasons. And of course, by the end of this video, you will know for sure how to get thousands of dollars online on Etsy. I made over $45,000 in my shop. So I'm going to be showing all my secrets, why I got to this number. And of course, if you want to sign in to my class, learn all about it. There's going to be an exclusive offer right down below. 10 hour class, lots of information about this. So number one reason, so important, why you're not getting the sales you want on Etsy. You don't have multiple shops. It is essential for you to have more than one shop when you're just getting started. I had up to five shops and out of those, three of them were doing pretty good. And one of them was able to hit the thousands of dollars online. The other two were good, but not good enough. So why is that? Why is it so important? It's so important because it has to do with number two reason. Number two reason is niching. It's important for you to niche in specific areas when you're opening the shop, not go ahead and do something that goes into so many different things that you're selling in the shop and people are going to be more confused. So when you do niching, it's also why it's so important for you to use. It's going to be linked below to the 40 free listings. This is why you have to get started creating a bunch of different shops and each of them different niche. One of them could be vintage and antiques. Another one is handmade and the third one you could do digital products. You could try all three different things that are allowed on Etsy. You're not allowed to go outside of those things. If it's not handmade, or it's not vintage, or it's not digital that you made yourself, you cannot actually sell it on Etsy. You will risk getting banned. Third reason why you're not getting the sales. You don't have reviews. It is very essential for you to get some reviews. If you have no reviews, nobody knows how good your products are. Nobody is going to be buying those products. Number four reason has to do with sales. And that's another thing that says on Etsy, it says how much reviews you have and, and it says how many sales you have. So if you don't have enough sales, people are not going to be trustworthy of your shop. Number uh, four, I think, is why your shop is not getting the sales. It's pretty much you're not marketing the shop itself. You're not getting traffic to it. There is a few ways to get traffic. One is from external sources such as YouTube, Facebook, and my class talks about all those different ways for you to do this. And another one is to use Etsy ads, which I was having mixed success with. So if it doesn't work for your shop, doesn't mean it's not gonna work for someone else's shop. But for me, it was an on and off thing. So you have to experiment with that. Number fifth reason why you're not getting the sales is pretty much your pictures suck. That's right, they, they suck. If they're not good pictures, nobody is gonna buy the stuff you're selling. Number six reason, and this is another one that we go into in my actual class, is about description. You gotta describe. You gotta want somebody to buy this product. If you're not putting enough time, effort into describing the actual product, nobody is gonna be buying this product. They don't know what it is, they don't know what it's good for, and so on. Number seventh reason is simply that your keyboards are not have been utilized. There is a keyboard section. If you're not using the keyboard section, you're missing out on the entire thing of Etsy itself. The keyboards is essential. It is more than essential to get traffic into it. Number eight reason is the correct category. You might actually put your stuff in the wrong category and it's not getting the traction to it. Number nine reason, and this is also essential why you're not getting sales on Etsy. Number ninth reason is simply that 
everything that you have everything that you made you didn't let that follow the whole business model correctly so etsy rewards people who follow the, the specific business models you have to do and you might think what is this what exactly is the business model the business model for you is to make money for etsy the more money you make for etsy the more money is going to make for you it is really that simple so you have to send traffic to etsy you have to go ahead and get sales it is essential and you have to have consistent sales not like i got a few sales and that's it you got to get a lot of sales number 10 reason you want to do this and it is passion you gotta be passionate about what you're doing you gotta love what you're doing you gotta visit the shop you gotta go into and constantly go and tweak fix and do things around in it the shop has to be active so if you just make the shop and just leave it it's not an active shop it's very essential for you to do so now we're going to go into the bonus things the bonus things that you can do in order for you to get sales this is very important so the whole thing about being an a-list it's an a-list thing etsy rewards people who do those things that gets you to the a-list one you have to get over 10 sales you have to have 300 dollars of sales and you have to respond to messages right away so all those marks have to be plus and then you'll be featured as an a plus so you already are going to be promoted inside of etsy itself that's a big bonus for you i haven't got to this point and it's not essential for you to make money to get to this point but it's definitely very very helpful for you another bonus thing that i will suggest for you to do is to hire a professional photographer to take your pictures such as myself i take pictures for other people so if you have certain products and you need better pictures it's definitely going to make or break and the reason why it's so essential for you if even if you don't even have an access or you want to spend money on a photographer just get some kind of a decent smartphone and take pictures with that another bonus thing that i'm going to give you is simply keep on believing in the shop itself so the, the shop it is a process it is not something that overnight you have success it took me a few years to get success on the shops that they had success in etsy so oh it's a long-term game work on getting reviews work on getting sales work on making the shop better don't make this a full-time income yet it's going to happen but don't force it to happen so this is very essential for you is to consistent see and to keep doing work and over time if you follow the class if you do what i tell you you're gonna get to that level don't like expect hey i'm gonna get famous every day i'm gonna make money and in a month don't make those goals and another bonus thing is stay away from income goals stay away from i have to make a thousand bucks a month or five thousand dollars in two months or whatever it's not about money it is the key here don't think about money invest instead in your education invest in watching this class which is just as cheap as 10 bucks for the next few few days but understand that the biggest thing about here do not don't ever focus on making money it's gonna come it's gonna happen if you do everything that i tell you you'll be making big money but the whole focus is to make your customers happy the whole focus is to provide superior customer service the whole focus is to make it an experience think about disneyland it's an experience people are going to be showing out huge amount of cash because disneyland is one of the best places that you can go in disney world it's one of the most unbelievable experience that you can actually get that is the closest thing to movies and you can ride in the movies themselves so pretty, pretty much you're selling an experience you're selling an individual shop unlike ebay unlike amazon well pretty much i bought something from amazon from ebay over here you're buying something from etsy people think of you as an individual in etsy versus in other places where they think of you just working for this company and they're pretty much thinking it's indisposable who the seller i buy from especially on amazon well nobody really cares about the third party sellers well there's so many of them over there but people really don't know that and on ebay 
there was also thousands of sellers as well. eBay doesn't even sell their own stuff. It is the sellers who are actually selling things on eBay. Thank you.